Good morning, guys. Hi, who's here? Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Hope you're okay. Facebook. Hello, lots of people on Instagram. Hello, now I hope you're all okay. Cuppa in hand, of course. Test Spot Tuesday today. Yeah, you made it. Glad you made it. Lovely to have you here. Good morning. Um, okay, we're going to get started in just a moment. I have just been doing a quick post on stories to say that I was getting stressed out because I can't find all the things that I wanted to use in the live this morning. Good morning, Amanda and Rachel. Lovely to join you. Hello, Olivia. Um, so, yeah, I've been getting myself a little bit stressed this morning because I couldn't find the things that I wanted to use for the Tusspot activity. And then I stopped and realised that actually the reason why I wanted them was um, because it would make it look beautiful and Pinterest worthy and Instagram worthy. When actually, even just yesterday, I was sharing saying that good quality play is not always the most photographic, photogenic. So, um, I stopped myself from getting stressed and I'm just having to use what I have in house, which is the reality of play. Don't let beautiful images on Instagram put you off ever trying to set up a play activity. It is not, um, it is not about it looking fantastic. It is about what the, the actual purpose of the play is and the skills that are going to be practicing, things like that. So I've told myself, I've had a word with myself this morning to stop getting stressed out. And we're just going to have to use what we've got. So sadly, I can't find what I actually wanted to use. We're going to use something else. So before we start, because I'm getting lots of messages at the moment, people not realising the kind of play prompts that I have, particularly the mini packs. I might have to do a little um, video on these one day so that you know. But there, we, I do have the tough spot play prompts in the mini pack. So 25 activities in there for things like this of activities you can set up in your tough spot because I know lots of people a bit like water play a bit like bath time sand play I've got all sorts of different ones um for when you just run out of ideas and you're fed up of doing the same old thing play-doh as well people get fed up of using play-doh so it's just new things you can do with it with stuff that you have in the house already so I'm gonna have a big old team we're gonna get started because it's dead simple this morning easy peasy but I think your little ones will like it Nice one for doing in the shade. It doesn't have to be a tough spot. You know, I say that every week. It does not have to be a tough spot, but just some sort of tray or basket, whatever you have got. Um, okay, and then you're going to need some tape. So this isn't the tape that I wanted to use. Um, this is just some tape that I happen to have in. Happens to be leopard print. I picked it up ages ago just because it was like, ooh, leopard print tape. So it's a bit thicker than washi tape. It's more like a um, parcel tape, that sort of thing. So I can't, I can't even bite it and rip it. I'm going to have to use my... Scissors. So I'm going to move out of shot now so you can see the tough spot. So hopefully you can see it. I've tried to prop it up as much as I can so that all the cameras can see. Because just to remind you that I do have Facebook, Instagram and YouTube in. So it's a little bit crazy. So all we're going to do, it was Spider's Web that you guys voted for um, in my late, late um, poll last night. I asked what you would like and I said tools or Spider's Web. So we're going to do the Spider's Web. And I'm so pleased because it's a really nice one. And do you know what? I don't think I've done this one for ages with Mace. I actually can't remember the last time I did it. So that's really good because, ah, this reminds me, um, I don't know if you've seen that I am trying to encourage you to um, have a go at um, doing activities that you've maybe done recently or within the last few months, whatever. Try and revisit some activities because more often than not, you will see a massive difference in your child's development and the way that they play with their toys. So for example, in my stories yesterday, Mason was playing with some cars and trucks and things. We've not had those out for ages and he sorted them like he's never sorted them before and it was amazing to watch. So I'm really keen for July, we've got halfway through the year, get out all your resources you bought for Valentine's Day and that you bought for Christmas and you bought for Easter, get them out. There's no reason why we can't play with them again. Don't have them sat in the cupboard. You know, when um, it's all about reusing our, um, reusing all our resources, put them to good use. Um, and yeah, just playing with something. So something you maybe did at Valentine's Day or around Easter that they really loved. 
uh, get it out again, do it again, and just watch how differently they play with it. It's fantastic. So it's really nice one that we're revisiting that this because I can't even remember the last time I did it with Mason. So thank you for voting for Spider's Web, everybody. So super easy. All you need is some tape. Now, luckily, tape, I'm hoping, will show up on the camera. I'm afraid I didn't have time to get any ready beforehand. And all we're doing is lots and lots of strips across the tough spot in all different angles. Now, the reason why I called it spider's web is because you could, of course, do it in the shape of a spider's web going across. However, I'm going to do mine a little bit more mismatching just so that we can make some unusual shapes. So all I'm doing is just down the side and then sticking it down the side and leaving it. I'm moving my, my way around. Oh, it looks nice already. Sorry, it doesn't take long. I'm glad I didn't set up beforehand, actually, because then you can see that actually it really doesn't take long to do. Uh, that's probably about much. Let's just do one more. Make it fun. Okay, so, yeah, I could have set it up beforehand, actually, as in, but actually it's quite nice. Sorry, I keep saying actually. Um, it's quite nice that you've just seen that it literally takes two minutes. So can you see the tough spot if I hold it up? I have just put randomly, I have stuck the tape across and I've stuck it to the edges. It's gone slightly longer, I've stuck it to the edges. You could do this in any tray or anything like that. And so I've done a mishmash. However, you might want to do more of a spider's web pattern if you want to. And then the idea is the dog might just walk through the shot. No, we're all right. Um, so, and then what we can do is, now it's up to you what you put inside. Um, I've got lots of little people here. You could do animals, you could do trucks, you could just do a handful of random stuff. You could do foods, you could do snack time in this, you could do whatever you want, pop this in there. So I grabbed some people, but of course um, you could do, bugs would be a nice one as well, particularly if you're doing spiders well. And really easy, I'm just going to lay the people, I might make some of the spaces, actually some of the some of the spaces are a little bit big, I might make them a bit bigger. Um, a few smaller spaces actually, let's do it again. Because you want them quite small to challenge your children. Put another one on there. There, that's a bit better. Some of the spaces were a little bit big. And then all we're going to do is you can put people, you can put cars, you can put anything underneath. Now mine are slipping because I've got my tuss spot at an angle, uh, just so that you all got, you guys can see it. But you can literally hide, can't get the people to stay, just because I've got it on a slant. You can hide people in it. So again, I might do a, a few more pieces just to make it a bit harder. And so the idea is you cover your tuss spots, it's really tricky. I wonder if we could fit another piece over there. Oh, I'll leave it, leave it for now, but I might put another piece as well. And then the idea is you're just making it really tricky for your little one to, to try and rescue the people. So I've got a pair of tongs here, uh, just to um, tongs out of the kitchen, another pair of tongs, something like that you could use, or uh, maybe if you've got some chopsticks, if your little one's good with chopsticks, or I've got these like, I think, I don't even know what these are, some sort of salad servers, something like that. Or if you don't have any tongs or anything, maybe you could use a big, I've got some big pegs that actually aren't too hard to open and close. And the idea is, is that they have to be really careful and see if they can rescue the people out of the gaps. And so it's just like a little bit of a rescue, basically. So you can just pop on loads of people in, loads of different, if you've got things of loads of different sizes, that's fantastic. Um, like I said, I think I might put, go, come back and put a little bit more tape on so that the spaces are a little bit smaller. Um, but it's just a really good fun one that your little one can use. It's a bit like, do you remember that Operation game? Yeah! Oh, someone just said, yeah, it's like Operation. It is like Operation, isn't it? Luckily, there's no buzzers going off. But it's a little bit like that. And so it's just really good for their physical skills. 
I actually forgot to mention, I would have this tray flat on the floor because then your little one is on all fours balancing. So it's all that physical stuff as well as trying to carefully use the tongs to pull the um, people or the animals and do the rescue and pull them out. Yeah, I love that you spotted it's that operation. Um, so we'll just you can just pull them out of all the different gaps and things like that and just make a little game of it and i'm sure no wonder smaller gaps for a four-year-old yeah you can do as your child it depends on the age of your child the smaller the gaps for the older the child and again the tongs that you use if you've got a really young child they don't really need the tongs they could just use their hands maybe or you could have some really simple big ones like this or if your child's a bit older make the tools a little bit harder as well so they're really working their hand muscles trying to pick up the people trying to get bob and pull him out of the builder. Um, yeah, I dry this one flat on the floor rather than, you could have it on a stand if you want to, um, but I really like the idea if it's on the floor, I love children working at different heights, particularly with tough spots, um, is that you could have it on the floor, is that they're kneeling, um, they're almost on all fours as well, all physical, and that they can um, they can pick out the people. So it's just a dead easy one today. Yeah, oh good, I'm glad you like it. Nice and simple. That's the way we like it, isn't it? But yeah, that's it for today. That's a spider's web. Like I said, you could do it more of a spider's web. Great for Halloween. Uh, but you can also do any which way like I've done. Um, and then you've got different size gaps. And then they have to navigate. If you've got some bigger items and smaller items, they're having to navigate them out. But yeah. All right. I'm going to end there then, guys. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you can see that. It's tricky, isn't it? I could do with lift it up a bit more. Um, Thank you very much for tuning in. I will save this. Oh, I'm so pleased you like it. Thank you. Um, um, this will be saved in um, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. So if there's anything that you miss, you want to come back and have a look at it later, you can do. Any fan mail is almost always welcome. Um, yeah, we'll finish at that. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thank you very much. I will see you soon. Oh, by the way, I am working on something that's coming soon. It's taking up every minute of my day at the moment, but I am hoping it will help us for some holidays. So there is something on your on its way. I don't want to say just yet, uh, but something is coming. So thank you very much. See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.